Hello, I am too tired this week to do fun time historical research into Tudor weddings. So we're going to do Tudor Tudor how to hair tutorial. How did Tudor women have their hair underneath their headdresses, which is um, which we've taken from the Tudor tailor. Um, obviously, there's not much historical evidence to how they kept their hair. I think we have some saints' bodies that are preserved with their plaits intact and things like that, which is gross and cool. And so this is a tutorial on how to braid and plait your hair if you're going to be wearing a, a French hood or a gable hood for recreation purposes, uh, presuming that most Tudor women had longer hair uh, that needed to be pinned up and kept out of the way in a practical fashion that they could do themselves. Um, if you're Elizabethan, I think a lot of Elizabethan women, particularly fashion ones, had their hair short for wigs, but this this is as per the ever present, ever present guidance of the Tudor tailor how to do your hair if you're a Tudor lady. And because I can't do mine, I have a friend to do it for me because my hair is too long to do myself. Come on, you you're being my my lady's maid. So what's the first step? So first is we just need to part your hair down the centre. An actual centre parting. Plus, I have the th like the thickest white girl hair in the world. <laughs> she does have a really thick hair. Yeah. <laughs> they have to book me extra time at the hairdressers when I have a haircut because they have to book me a double length appointment to thin it. Oh, it would take hours to dye this. So roughly, roughly parted down the centre. Yeah, so, basically doing two plaits that are sort of behind the ear. Yeah. That's why I can't do it because it's so thick when it's behind the ear. If I can't see it, it just it goes wrong. I spent an hour what an hour brushing it and it's still not <laughs> it's still not tangle free. And then it's about maybe halfway down the plait, we need to put a ribbon in it. So if I can get one of my hands and first Yeah, pretty pink ribbon. Yeah. Up take up oh, hold. <laughs> hold it. Okay, is that the right place? <laughs> yep. <laughs> we're not like, we're not professional but beauty YouTubers. <laughs> we can't do these things. As far as I, uh, it seems to be, it just involves making lots of drama? Question mark? And maybe some, maybe... Drama some... and product placement. Yeah. <laughs> and, and maybe make a palette or two? Question mark. I would like to say that Nikki Tutorials did a very good job hosting Eurovision. Listen to the bird. There is a great episode of The Good Fight where the judge is really into ASMR, so they ask the key expert witness to give all her testimony while doing ASMR, so he'll listen to it. And like she starts off doing and then she brings out like a hairbrush mm -hmm. and like plastic bags and the 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 um the prosecutor and the defense are like um um she's clearly leading the judge but the judge who is very into it is like please let her continue and the thing is that not only about women doing doing this for themselves but before marriage you had women who lived in communal spaces so this would have been them getting up in the morning and doing this for each other or after marriage you get had to think about husbands learning this to do this for their wives in sort of lower lower uh, income households okay so we have uh -huh. oh look at that that's two oh that's, that's just pretty like this i feel like heidi Pins, pins, pins. Aha! So what's this next? Um, so lay the plaits over the top of the head, secure it with hairpin. I think I'm going to have to do this one at a time. There's an episode of Friends where Phoebe has a plait all the way around her head and I tried making my mother do it and it's similar to this but um, did not did not go nearly so well. We were both trying to do this with no skills and working with hair until we both got so frustrated and angry we just gave up. Yes, that was when for a weird period in my teens where I decided to have really long hair. 
until a friend told me that I looked like Joey Ramone and I was so ins- I was so insulted that I went out and got all my hair cut off. It's nice to see women with hair like this in historical dramas instead of the thing they do where they go Where they all have loose like, hair. Like oh god it's sexy. <laughs> We can't imagine depicting a world honestly where they have different ideas of what is attractive, so it has to look modern attractive, even though it doesn't mesh with anything else we're doing. Everyone's wearing cleavagey dresses, all the men are wearing black. There's lots of... The, they're because, all wearing leather. Yeah. Because, God forbid, they look as peacocky as men did back then. <laughs> anything less than masculine. Even in um, Wolf Hall, which is the BBC adaptation of Wolf Hall and bringing up the bodies, like the hoods in that were basically just like little Claire's headbands with veils so you could see all their hair underneath. And I'm like, what's the point in that? Everything else on that show was so meticulously researched and gorgeous. And then they were like, just gave up when it came to the hoods. And it really bothered me. The, the Tudors by Showtime obviously being yeah. the worst. <laughs> or Rain. Well, at least Rain. Well, Rain wasn't even trying. Yeah, they were like... historical. Yeah, I can kind of give it that, that they weren't trying. They were like, well, they, will just look, they will just wear prom dresses every week. That's fine. I'm like, okay. Their budget clearly wasn't huge. And I don't know what the access is to historical, historically accurate Tudor costumes in Canada is. For those who don't know, in the UK, there's a huge, down down in the South Country, I think it's like Devon or Dorset, there is a giant historical costumes warehouse where for every production, so like film, TV, theatre, whatever, that's been historically themed, they put all the costumes in there so you can hire them out and book them because if you, like, so most productions do not have the money for full scale um, costume design except for like the most important characters. A few years ago it suffered a serious fire and lost a, lost a number of them. But if you if you go there, it is just a giant warehouse of like you know, sourced by century, sourced by decade, whatever. So I think this kind of hairstyle is meant for someone with a bit longer hair. So you see how the ends of Jess's plaits basically meet at the top of her head. Um and then maybe with longer hair that would go sort of ear to ear, basically. So what you're supposed to do next is have the ribbons cross over at the nape. Oh, sorry. So, um, come down. these under. Yeah, I think I was saying earlier that we don't know how long Tudor women have their hair. My presumption is that they would never cut it, but I wonder how practical that was in real life. Because if you're spending a lot of time doing this in the morning, that would get frustrating. Although I suppose you do this... If you do it long enough, it's probably really quick. <laughs> We're so professional! <laughs> Billion pins in here to try and keep it on top of her head. Buttons were masculine and they weren't necessarily always used to keep... I know, buttons were masculine. It just, it just is a thing. And so clothing was held together with pins. If you look at one of those really big Tudor gowns, say a 1530s style one, that is using about... I think it's like a thousand to two thousand pins to hold it together. Kind Aww. of. <laughs> well, that would be okay because it would be hidden under like a cat. Yes. <laughs> Let me go get that. There we go, that would be Tudor lady getting ready in the morning and putting on her coif. <laughs> I'm ready to face the day! I'm ready to do back-breaking labour in the fields! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no, so that is how, in the 16th century, you would do your hair, if you wanted to do. I suppose the head other ways, but thank you to my friend Megan <laughs> for doing that I could not do, because I can't reach <laughs> with my arms that much, so... This is your video for the week. Hopefully next week I will actually do about a Tudor wedding ceremony when I'm not so tired. It's going to be a long term for me. But no, like, share, subscribe, donate to Coffee, buy her game. You've been, seen her on the Let's Play on the channel before, buy it. <laughs> and thank her for doing 
my hair. I, I'm tired. <laughs>